Kneel down before 
We have come together from different places. We have come together out of our different experiences. In every experience of life, God is there. We are gathered in this time and place because we are God's people. Let us worship the God of all times and all places. Let the words of my mouth
Thank God that He brought us to the tenth month of the year. Amen. First Sunday. Certainly, we are grateful to realize that there were many who started out with us at the beginning of the year that have been uh, called on. But God, in His wisdom and in His kindness and love, have allowed us to continue in, in, in this walk of life. And we are grateful, amen, for our being here today. Amen. amen. Thank God for this being Communion Sunday, amen. in which we partake of the Lord's broken body and His shed uh, blood. Amen. Amen. This is a Sunday that uh, uh, believers are to certainly look forward to a time that they can actually partake mm -hmm. and show forth the death and the suffering of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. and observing the Lord's uh, Supper. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so certainly we look forward uh, to this time. Amen. Together. <laughs> Amen. Thank God for the weather. Amen. 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 Somebody usually hallowed yeah. yesterday, but the Lord is blessing us, and we are yeah. grateful that He allowed us to be here Amen. to experience uh, this uh, weather. Oh, yeah. Amen. Through it all, the Lord has been by our side. Yeah. Our morning hymn is an old song of the church. Amen. And the title of Keep Me Every Day. Amen. And some uh, type of song, Lord, I want to live for thee, but the title is Keep Me Every Day. And certainly we need the Lord to keep us every day. For if the Lord don't keep us, then we won't be kept. Amen. So we look to Him to keep us every day. Lord, I want to live for Thee every day, and I let Thy Spirit be. Yeah. 
calls this morning. Our prayer this says you know us always. Pray continue. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you. In First Thessalonians 5, 16 through uh, 18. This morning you're remembering and prayer to the writing of Williams. Mother Oral Rivers and family, Mother Oral Williams and family, Brother Edgar Lee Williams, Sister Mabel Wolfwalker, Sister Ruth Walker, Brother J.B. George and family, Sister Oral Holloway, Sister Evelyn Jones, Brother Lawrence Gary.
Amen. We might be up and going about today and driving our automobiles and tomorrow, amen, or even today, before the end of the day, we might not even know our names. Amen. So God is good. And it's worthy to be praised. So let us continue to remember each other in prayer. Gracious God, our Father, the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the maker and creator of all mankind. Lord, here is the, the end that we come before your presence with thanksgiving. We are to your court with praise, Lord, we are thankful. Oh, yes. And we come to bless your name for you yes. are good, and you've been good to us, yes. and your mercy endure unto all generations. Oh, yes. And God, we just say Thank you. Thank you for what you have done for us in the past. Thank you for what you're doing for us right now. And thank you for what you're going to do for us in the future. God, we thank you for all things. All power is in your hand. There's no sickness or no disease that you cannot heal. There's no trouble that you cannot solve. There's no conflict you cannot bring to closure. And God, we just say thank you now for all of your many blessings. God, we thank you for allowing us to gather here on this morning. We realize this the last time we stepped foot in this place that so much has happened, but you've kept us. You've kept us safe, God, and we just say uh, thank you. We pray for each family that's represented here, we pray for their children and their grandchildren, that you would watch over them, that you would keep them and protect them. Amen. God, we pray for our young people that are in schools and daycares, that you would protect and keep them, that no evil will come by uh, their uh, schools and daycares. We know you're able, nothing is impossible with you, and all power is in your hand. God, we say thank you. Have mercy upon us, O oh God, and bless us with such blessing that you see we stand in the need of. Lord, sometimes we think about one thing, but we really need another. But you know all things. Bless us with those things that you see that we stand in need of. God, we just thank you now. Bless us as we worship, as we sing songs of Zion, as we pray and as we lift up your holy name, we pray to bless the word that will go forth, O oh God, that it will bring uh, encouragement and help to our different situations. God, we say thank you. Bless our church families. In the name of Jesus, our Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Certainly, we thank God for the implicitness. Uh, on the 6th of October, uh, Call it advantage will have a birthday and on the seventh of October or uh, holiday will have a birthday. We certainly wish them a happy uh, birthday. Amen. Credit on the uh, second page of the building at the uh, bottom is uh, a note saying harvest homecoming celebration. Sunday, October the 29th, and that's uh, in the morning service, dinner immediately following morning worship service, and we will have a guest a speaker for our harvest homecoming service. So we look forward to uh, that's the last Sunday of the month, and certainly want to invite uh, family members, friends, and those that know not our Christ. Certainly want to invite. Uh, to, uh, to worship uh, with us. You know, Jesus said something, he said, uh, in his teaching, he said, when you have a meal, he said, uh, don't uh, invite so much the people that can turn around and invite you uh, to their house. And I'm just paraphrasing this on the next week. Amen. We have an meal, they say, no, the white folks that can turn around and uh, bless you likewise. 
But he said that in white folks, he said go in and call in those that are uh, not able to uh, have you come to their house. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and, uh, he yeah. said invite the lame uh, and, and folks with different. Uh, and so what I'm saying is this, look, uh, invite someone, but uh, try to invite someone that knows not our Christ. Man, man. Invite someone that maybe that's not in any local church. Amen. Amen. You know, they really don't, uh, it's a celebration, but it really don't profit a lot if you just go get a whole bunch of saved people to bring in. Right. Amen. Amen. And don't have no unsaved people, people that really need to hear the word of God. And so in your inviting, I'm not telling you not to invite folks that belong to other churches, but uh, try to your best to invite somebody that don't belong to a particular church. Amen. 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 And so certainly looking forward to invite your family and your friends. You know, uh, when you invite someone, you don't know whether they want to come or not. Amen. But uh, all we do is fight and fight. So as preachers and churches every Sunday, stand and extend invitations uh, to discipleship. Amen. Uh, not knowing whether somebody's going to come or not. But the thing that uh, we must do is just keep inviting, keep extending the invitation to uh, discipleship. One of the sad things I heard some years ago, years ago, uh, I hadn't been here long, that's when we had the bus uh, running, picking up people, and there was one person, a member of this church, that uh, the bus would pick them up. And once uh, the uh, bus driver said that this person's uh, grandmother was said to him that uh, she would come to church if I don't want to give a child would invite her. You know, they would leave out the house, get on the bus, but never would think of inviting her family. She told the bus driver, the bus driver called the driver and said she would come to church if she was invited. So look, don't don't uh, don't have to be said by your family members that you know I would come to church if my mother would ask me. I would come to church if my father would ask me to come with my sister would ask me. I would come. Ask him. Ask you have done all you can do. Amen. 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 And uh, you can't make them, but you surely can invite them. So we look forward to have a wonderful uh, service for our harvest uh, homecoming. Uh, we're not asking for no certain amounts of money and all of that, but we certainly want to have a Glorious time in the Lord. All right. At this time, we're going to have our uh, singing ministry still. Uh, it's still the paper by the musician. And uh, check our phones here. We haven't had any response here on these uh, phones. Uh, and so we continue to. Uh, Amen. Just lift our voices and sing unto the Lord. Uh, the word is out there. Amen. And uh, so we just take the pray and wait on the Lord. That's about all we can do. Amen. All right. At this time, we want to uh, hear from our uh, it's called for selection. This is a congregational selection as we prepare to take. The Lord said, I know it was the blood, and I know it was the blood, and I know it was the blood for me.
Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23. Why I received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do be as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Let us pray, eternal God, our Father, we thank you for this opportunity to partake of our broken body and shed blood. We pray that you would change these elements from a natural to a spiritual, that when we partake of them, they bring strength to our physical man, strength to our spiritual man. Oh God, we thank you for what you have done for us in this great sacrifice where you died, oh God, in our stead. And we say thank you now. Bless us as we come together with our sisters and brothers. Is in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. The body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ.
Thank God for this grace that has brought us safe thus far. And thank God for His grace that's going to lead us on. Amen. 
Amen. You know, brothers and sisters, people are bowing down to all kinds of things. Amen. But if you are a child of God, regardless of who bowed down, you are to stand for the Lord. Whatever, regardless of what other folk might bow to, you are to stand for the Lord. And if you stand for Him, He will stand for you. So they did bow down because the God they serve. Amen. They knew it was a jealous God. And He had commanded them that they were not to have no other gods. Before Him, they were not to bow to any other gods other than Him. So being true to the faith, when the music played, they refused to bow. Knowing, amen, the, uh, uh, the danger of the penalty that would be imposed upon them that refuse to bow. Amen. You know, there's always somebody watching, somebody when they report to the king. Said that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego uh, did not bow when they heard the sound of the music. They did not bow. Amen. And, uh, I'm just rushing through this story here because uh, I really want to talk about something else, but uh, they were brought before the king. And the king asked them, was it true that you would not bow down to the golden image? And they said to the king, yes. Knowing the penalty Amen. That would be uh, placed upon them that refused to bow. The king said, I'm going to give you another opportunity. I'm going to give you another chance. I'm going to have the music to play again. And this time, when the music played, uh, you bow down, uh, it will forget it. Amen. Uh, what just happened. And in so many words that I can paraphrase, you can read the text, it says to the king, a king, we don't need another chance. In other words, you can save your chances because uh, regardless, amen, we're not going to bow down. Amen. We're not going to bow down. And the God we serve, he's able. Amen. To deliver us from the fiery furnace. And the God we serve is able to deliver us from your hands. Amen. How do y'all know God is able? Amen. In Isaiah 43 and verse number 2, and part of that text. Isaiah 43. Uh, let me just read and uh, 2. When thou passeth through the waters, I will be with thee. Amen. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. And when thou walkest through the fire, Thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Amen. That's the word of God, the promise of God. And we see that promise being fulfilled in the life of Shadrach, Meshach, and the Amen. Look, they were thrown in the midst of the fire furnace. When I was reading this text, I, I looked at how many times that word in middle uh, mist shows up uh, in the text. And 
and they were thrown in. Uh, we don't know when God showed them in the furnace. We don't know. Amen. Before or after, they were thrown in. As a songwriter pen, he was there all the time. He was there all the time. We don't know again. Amen. Just when he showed up. But whenever he showed up, he's always right on time. Amen. Amen. So many times in our lives, I know I can feel it, but so many times the Lord had touched my body. And, and, and I really didn't know when he did. But all I know is that I began to feel better. <laughs> Have I got a witness? Amen. Don't know when he touched you. Amen. Amen. But I know he touched me. Yes. Have I got a witness? He was there all the time. Amen. Such days in the midst of it all, there is God. Amen. The heat from the furnace was so hot. You remember in his anger, the king uh, told his uh, people to uh, heat the furnace seven times hotter than it normally would be. Oh, yes. Amen. Seven times as hot as it would normally be. Amen. And the heat from the furnace was so hot that the men that threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the furnace were killed from the heat. Oh, yes. Amen. Yet, the same heat did the Hebrew children. No bone. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. It killed folks on the outside mm -hmm. of the furnace. But the three Hebrew children, that same fire, the same heat, oh, yes. did them no bone. Amen. After they were brought out and examined, it was declared that the fire had no power mm -hmm. upon their bodies. Oh, yes. Their hair, amen, the heads of their hair was not singed. Mm -hmm. Neither were their coats changed. Oh, yes. Nor the smell of fire mm -hmm. had passed upon them. Amen. Have I got a good oh, yes. Their testimony before being thrown into the fiery furnace was our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us. Amen. From the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thy hand. O King. Have I got a witness? How do know God is mighty to deliver? Amen. To deliver. Oh, yeah. If you just believe, yeah. amen. Sometimes I hear people uh, say, uh, amen. talk about God doing for them like He did for Shadrach, Meshach, and the Benjamin. <coughs> yes, God is able to do the same yeah. for you. Oh, yeah. Amen. But you got to have that Shadrach, Meshach, and the Benjamin faith. Our God. Oh, yes. Amen. What they just about our God whom we serve is able. Amen. You got to believe he's able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he's able to deliver us out of thy hand. Amen. O King. Have I got a witness? Thank God for Jesus. Well, as I said earlier, uh, so much talk about uh, Shadrach, Meshach. That's why they go through the whole narrative. But what I really want to share with you uh, this morning, my message to you, my brothers and sisters, is simply this: that regardless of what or what's going on 
in your life. Have a good week. I said, regardless of what's going on in your life. Amen. And thank God I know that everybody in here. Amen. You got something going on Amen. in your life. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. I said, everybody in here, yes. just be truthful. Oh, yes. Everybody got something going on oh, yes. in their life. Oh, yes. Some are more serious or greater than others, but we all have something going on oh, yes. in our lives. Yes. That's all my message this morning is short and simple. That regardless of what's going on in your life, in the midst of it all, that is God. Have I got a good That's all I really want to tell you to take that. Regardless of what you're going through, sickness, amen, sorrows, disappointment, Amen. Aches, pains. Amen. Amen. Marital problems. Problems with your children. Amen. Problems with family members. Whatever's going on in your life, God is in the midst. I mean, I'll do that. Amen. I wanted him. Amen. Not randomly chosen, but evaluated. Emmanuel means God with us. Yes. Amen. Whatever we're going through, we need to realize that God is with us. Oh, I got it. Yes. And if you yes. can uh, remember that, oh, yes. Amen. God will see you through. Yes. Oh, God. If you remember that, whatever you're going through, yes. Amen, would be a lot better. Yes. If you just look, I'm not in this alone. Amen. Have a good week. God is with me. Yes. Anybody be a witness yes. that you've gone through some things yes. and you made it through because you realized that you wasn't alone, that God was with you. Yes. David says it like this. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. And when God is with you, he's more than the whole world against you. When God is with you, the devil and he can't harm you. When God is with you. How y'all glad that you can testify that God is with me right now? Amen. God is with me. And I want you to leave here today knowing that whatever you are facing, just as God was with the Hebrew children, He will be with you. Oh, God, with you. The old preacher years ago, I was a boy, used to preach. They said that after the king had, had Daniel had three Hebrew children thrown in the fiery furnace, that he went up to his room. Amen. And his sleep left him. Amen. He tossed and turned. And he got up and went down with his counselors to the furnace. And he said that he looked in the furnace. Amen. And in astonishment. Jumps back, says to his costumes, Behold, did not we put in three men in the furnace? Huh. And they said, Yes. Said, How is it then that I see four? And the fourth one, have I got a witness? Amen. The fourth one don't look like the other three. The fourth one looks like the Son of God. As I said earlier, I don't know when God showed up, but He showed up. How God witnessed and delivered His children. Thank God for Jesus. It was in one of the albums as I close, writes of these words I've come through many hard trials, through many temptations, 
on every hand. Yes. Though Satan tried to stop me yes. and place my feet on sinking sand, to the pain in all of my sorrows, yes. to the tears in all of my fears, she said, the Lord was there to keep me. For he kept me in the midst of it all. Have I got a witness? How many of y'all can testify? Oh, yeah. Amen. That he had kept me yeah. through the midst yeah. of it all. Oh, yeah. Even when I thought I wasn't going to make it, right. he kept me oh, yeah. through the midst of it all. Oh, yeah. Amen. Can I close? Amen. In the book of Acts, the 27th chapter, you'll find an account where Paul experiencing, who have experienced many storms. Amen. Now he experienced the storm of his life. Out of all the Asiatic sea, the skies were overshadowed with blackness. No shelter or help is not. The ship was in fear. The ship were in fear of losing their lives. The sun, not the stars, appeared for many days. And they lost all hope of being saved. Everybody on the ship were at wit's end. And they thought that they had met their end. But thanks be to Paul. Amen. That thanks be to God that Paul, amen, was asleep on his bed. <laughs> and in his sleep, the angel, amen, of God stood by his bed. <laughs> Hallelujah, Lord. I don't know about you, but I've experienced God's angel standing round by my now Look, I say I saw no angels, but I experienced the presence of God. All around my day. Amen. You remember the saints of old used to say, Amen. All around my room. All around my room. I heard the angels sing. Singing so sweet. They were singing so sweet. I heard the angels singing. Well, Paul was singing in the midst of the song. How do y'all know God will keep you? Yes. Amen. When everybody else around you is losing, let me say, their cool. God will keep you. Yes. The angel of God stood by his feet, saying unto him, Fear not, Paul, thou must be brought to cease. And Lord God have given thee all them that sail with thee. Thanks be to God. And then he said, Paul says to the Bereans, Amen. God has stood by me and told me that everything is going to be all right. I have a destiny. I have to get to Rome. And there's nothing that's going to keep me from getting to Rome. No, not storms. Amen. No winds is going to keep me. Well, brothers and sisters, God have destined that you be somewhere in life. And wherever God have destined you to be. Amen. As you see the folks say, neither hell nor high waters can hinder you from being where God uh, intends for you to be. Amen. I see Paul as he walks on the ship. Amen. And he says to the crew, <laughs> Be of good carriage. Oh, yeah. Now we are with you. Oh, yeah. Be of good carriage. Oh, yeah. For the God I serve. Yeah. Huh. Pay me a visit. Yeah. Huh. And he said to me, Paul, don't worry. Huh. And don't be afraid. Huh. Everything is going to be all right. Yeah. Huh. And I don't know about you. Huh. But whenever I can sense. Huh. God said to me, don't worry. Everything is 
it's going to be all right. Uh, things might look bad now. Uh, but don't worry. Uh, it's going to be all right. Uh, have I got a witness? Uh, and my burdens are lifted. Uh, and my load is lightened. Uh, Paul says, uh, I believe in God. How do y'all believe? Yeah. Uh, I believe in His Word. Uh, I believe in His promise. Yeah. Uh, I believe it's going to be just like He said. Uh, hallelujah. I believe it's going to be like He said. Uh, have I got a And He told me uh, that it's going to be all right. Uh, my brothers and sisters, again, whatever you're going through, whatever you're facing, you're here to God in the midst of your struggle, in the midst of your sickness, in the midst of your heartache, you're to hear Him say, it's going to be all right. Every now and then, I have some people that they mean good, and they'll say to me, uh, I got your back. Uh, have I got a witness? Uh, Y'all have heard folks say, I got your back. Uh, and that sounds good. Uh, hallelujah. But thanks be to God. Uh, it's nothing like uh, when you know the Lord uh, has your back. Uh, have I got a witness? Uh, it's nothing like knowing uh, that the Lord is with you. Uh, have I got a witness? I've seen uh, in my life uh, the lightning flash. Uh, I heard uh, the thunder roar. Uh, and I felt uh, sin that breakers dashing, uh, trying uh, to conquer my soul. Uh, and I heard uh, the voice of my Savior uh, telling me, still fight on. Uh, he promised, uh, he promised, uh, he promised, uh, he promised uh, never uh, to leave him alone. No, never alone. Uh, no, never alone. Uh, he promised uh, never to leave me, uh, never to leave me alone. Uh, I heard him say, uh, in Hebrews, uh, he said, uh, I will not uh, leave you, uh, and neither will I forsake you. Uh, in the midnight hour, you can call on me, uh, and I'll come and see about you. Early in the morning, uh, you can call on him, uh, and he'll come and see about you. Uh, when friend uh, and loved ones, uh, have abandoned you. Uh, how y'all be a witness? You come and see about you. Uh, in the sick room, uh, in the hospital, uh, when the intercom say, visiting hours is over, uh, and friends and family have to leave. Uh, thank God that God will be with you uh, all the night long. Uh, have y'all a witness? Uh, y'all be to be with you. Thank God. In the of it all. Amen. There is God. In the midst of all of your struggles. In the midst of all of your pain. In the midst of all of your disappointment. There is God. Have you got a witness? I said there is God. In the midst of it all. The word miss in the middle. Have we got a witness? Amen. 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 You have a beginning and you have an end Amen. and you have a middle. Oh, yes. And thanks be to God that in the midst of all of our struggles, yes. God has promised yes, to be with us. Yes. Have we got a witness? Oh, yes. You know, we go all down through the pages of the Bible. He was with Daniel oh, yeah. and the lion's den. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. With Israel as they crossed the Red Sea, oh, yeah. he promised to be with us. Yes, he 
He's always the man in the middle. But there is one mediator between God and man. And that's the man, Christ Jesus. Always in the middle. Now we got to get this. Let me close for now. On Calvary, amen, over 2,000 years ago, we find Jesus in the middle. Now we got to get this. I said in Calvary, over 2,000 years ago, we find Jesus in the middle. Amen. In between two things. One on the right, one on the left. And the Son of God hung in the middle. How we got to witness. Amen. And thanks be to God for the man in the middle was in the middle for you and I. Yes, for he bore our sin that Friday on the hills of Calvary. We know the story. He died. Oh, yes, Amen. He was crucified. Amen. That we might live. Amen. Died of Calvary. Buried in another man's tomb. But thanks be God, the story didn't end there. Early, Early. the third day morning, oh, yes. the same Jesus, he got up. Yes, he did. God raised him up with all power in his hand. Amen. 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 And just as he was at Calvary in the middle, Amen. He yet in the midst of all of your struggles. Amen. Sometimes we can focus too much on the end. What the devil is doing. But maybe we need to take our focus off the devil and fix our focus on the God that's in the midst with us. How do y'all glad he's in the midst? Amen. He was there. All the time. Amen. He was even there before you called him. Amen. 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 Some say they believe that he was waiting in the fiery furnace for Shaphat, Meshach, and Abednego. Amen. When the king ordered them to be brought out, Amen. They brought three. Hey, the three Hebrew children out of the furnace. Amen. They say nothing about bringing the fourth man out. Right. Amen. Brought the three out. Can you imagine about, about that other fellow that was in there? Brought the three out. And some says, why did uh, the fourth one come out? Well, the fourth one as the old preacher said, he didn't come out because he waited. Because he know one of these days, many of us will be thrown in All right. to the fire and furnace. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. He'll be there waiting to deliver us. Oh, yes. Thank God for Jesus. Oh, yes. oh, Amen. Yes. I don't know about you, but I can be a witness that the Lord has been with me. The song says, through it all, yeah. through it all, <clears throat> I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Yeah. Through it all, yeah. through it all, yeah. amen. Yeah. You know what I found out? That he is my friend. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So again, brothers and sisters, whatever you're faced with, just keep this in mind. That you're not alone. Amen. In the 20th chapter of Matthew, 19 verse, he said, Lord, I'm with you always, even unto the end of the age of the world. How many of y'all believe God is faithful to his word? 
Oh God, our Father, we thank you for the gifts that have been given. We receive them in thanks, with thanksgiving. We pray your blessing on those who came. We pray your blessing on those who had not and had desired to give. We pray your blessing that they might be able to give on the next time. God, we receive their gifts in the name of Jesus our Christ. Amen. Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect, be of good comfort. Be of one mind, live in peace. And the God of love and peace shall be with you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. 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 Amen.